Yeah, and I got her on here. The only code we're getting is code 11, which means, and uh, what I think it means is it's con it's connected to the computer and there's no problems. So, yeah, we don't have anything here. Code 11. I don't know what memory does. Nothing. So that's it. Code 11. And we'll go start it up. All right, this is new. It's never done this before. That's not me on the gas pedal. That's the car doing it on its own. I'm gonna hit the gas now. Yeah, this is new. Yeah, it stopped on its own. Now I got a blinking, uh, it's actually idling on its own. And now I got a blinking uh, check engine light. I think I'm gonna start the video off with this section of the video. All right, we got codes. 21, 94. Forty-four. These are new. This is new. I've never had an idle like this yet. Thirty-three. Eighteen. Oh, we're getting a whole bunch of information now. Anything else? Hey, it's idling on its own now. We're still at 18. Still got a flashing check engine light. Let's see what the fuel pressure says. Oh yeah, we're good. Yeah, it's the first time it's idled on its own in a couple weeks. Yeah, I'll be shut it down. Okay. There we go. So now I got a bunch of stuff to uh, to look up.
85, 10, 11, 40, 21, 94, 44, 33, 18, 85, 10. Do it one more time. Get back to 10. All right, that's good. I got something to go off of. Be honest with you, that is never uh, one time the thing ran good for me. And that was about two weeks ago. That was the first time where it actually idled on its own. So there's something funky going on around here. I don't know what, but I have a feeling it has something to do with the throttle body, TPS, IAC, something along those lines. So I'm going to leave this video at this, uh, well, what I'm going to do is put this, this section in the uh, beginning of the video, and then the smoke test will be afterwards, so you guys can see that. So yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, thanks for the help, everyone. I really appreciate it. Hopefully this helps someone help me, and uh, I'm indebted for life after that. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for your help. I really appreciate it. Bye-bye. All right, guys, I'm back here. Appreciate all the help I've been getting. Thank you very much. Uh, it's really helping. Uh, let's see. We got the smoke machine hooked up. Um, we're going to start off with that. Um, now you can see we're getting smoke. It's coming out of the TPS sensor. And underneath, uh, let's see if I can angle this camera properly. Let's see. It's coming out from the uh, bottom of the, uh, the, what do you call it? The, uh, the throttle thing here. I guess the shaft it's coming out of. So we got that there. Um, we also got smoke. coming out of the EGR yeah real pain nowhere else just those uh, three spots one that doesn't have a smoke machine. I got this on Amazon. Works pretty good. It was like a hundred bucks. Yeah, not bad at all. Come with everything you need, even the uh, smoke fluid. Plugs into the battery. You got an on and off switch right here, and compressed air. Even if you don't have an air compressor, you could just get a uh, small, uh, you ever see those little portable air tanks? Go to a gas station, fill it up and uh, with air, and there you go. You could just connect onto one of those. So, all right, let me keep playing around with this smoke machine. Next, we're going to do the, uh, probably hook up the code reader to it and see what we get. We'll go from there. So, that's it for right now. All right, I'm back one more time with this uh, smoke machine. I put the cold air back on, induction. You can see it's coming out over here. But with the uh, intake on, I don't see any begin any leaks. Besides what's over here. Uh, let's see, there is a regulator on there. I think it's like one, one pound of airflow. Yeah, so it's kind of like inconclusive now. All right, I figured I would just throw that on there. And then here goes the EGR vacuum port right here. That goes from there to the block down here. So that's not running off the, uh, the old uh, intake pr uh, pressure. It's coming off the ball from in the fender. All right, at any rate, there we go. We'll check the codes next.